welcome to another video. In today's video we're going to talk about the Christmas Eve cast on. We did one of these last year and last year we had the scrap granny blanket or the scraptastic granny blanket. This is the one that I made. I still haven't finished it and we are ready to do the next Christmas Eve cast on for this year. I cannot believe I haven't finished it and it's been at least a year. It's actually been more than a year but hey it is an ongoing project. It is huge. You can see I've done a lot of crochet on it. It's not far from being finished, so not too bad. But today's video, we're going to talk about the new project. It's not this one. Sure, if you want to join in with a Christmas Eve cast on project, you can make this shawl. This is the across the line shawl, and I will put a video link in up here for you. You are most welcome to use this as your Christmas Eve cast on. But the project that I've filmed for you is the basket weave stitch. And we are using Rhonda's pattern from Umbaco Designs. I think I've got that right. I should have brought notes with me. I am so sorry if that's wrong. I will put the text across the screen of the website that we're going to use. You can use it to make a dishcloth, a scarf. Or a blanket that is what I'm going to be doing I'm making a scrap blanket I've got all the bits and pieces that I've used throughout the year and I'm putting them all together into a blanket quite like the scrap tastic granny one that we did that one was made with hand dyed yarn and then this one I'm making this year for this project is just using up all my red heart super saver that I've had laying around but you can use any yarn as long as it's the same thickness you can use any yarn. I will be using three strands at once. I want to use up all my scraps and work up really quick blankets. So that's what I'll be doing. If you have DK yarn or if you have different thicknesses of yarn, as long as you keep them the same, so you've got maybe one 10 ply strand, which is a worsted weight or an Aran weight, and then one eight ply strand, which is a number three yarn, light worsted or DK yarn for UK. As long as you've got them current through the whole project, it's definitely going to work. I will be using a 12 millimeter crochet hook. I think it is an L size crochet hook. If that's wrong, it'll be on the screen somewhere here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be using a really big crochet hook because I'm using three strands of worsted weight yarn, which is a 10 ply or an Aran weight yarn. So I want it to work up really quick. So it's a great project if you want to, you want to use up lots of scraps. We also have a Facebook group or a Facebook event and I will put the link that you need in the description box which is down here somewhere. Click on that description box and that will take you to the Facebook group or link. The hashtag for this project this year will be the Chris will be Christmas Eve cast on 2017. Again, this will be across the screen as I'm talking when I edit my video later. I'm trying to think what else I need to tell you. Oh, it comes out on Christmas Eve so the video tutorial will come out before Christmas Eve and you'll know that because you're watching this video right now so that you can get all your supplies ready and and you may even just want to watch the video so you can get a head start on what we are going to be learning if you haven't done the basket weave stitch before I highly recommend it I've heard had a lot of people say they don't like it I've also had a lot of people say they find it really hard this pattern that we're going to use is not a hard pattern. It, uh, Ron, when Rhonda's designed it, it's quite easy to follow and you repeat yourself. So you get into a rhythm and you can easily read your work. You'll know. And you can easily read your work. So I really do recommend that you watch the video tutorial. I will put a link for that in the description box. If you're watching this video as soon as it's released like this one right now it is not going to be available yet but I will put the link there anyway so that when it's available if you're watching this video a little bit later that you can go and check it out what you need to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel and when you subscribe click the little notification and that will let you know when I've uploaded a new video tutorial so you will be notified for the Christmas Eve cast on and any future videos that I that I bring out so I really hope that you join us and enjoy in with all the fun. You can tag me on Instagram with any work in progress. Share your work in progress over on Facebook. And 
yeah, really excited about it this year and I think it's a great project to use up lots of scraps that I know that all of us have laying around somewhere. So thanks for watching guys and until next time, happy crochet.